Hello um, everyone, um, this is Ruby again, uh, welcome to my channel and in this video today we'll be talking about how to get all your technology um, schematics unlocked basically having enough technology points to unlock all of them as you can see right now on mine I do not have enough, I have zero technology points left even though I'm level 50 and there is still a ton of um, things to unlock um, some of them saddles, like this one here, Water, uh, Water uh, Suzaku saddle, or some of them like walls and stuff like that, or furniture pieces and stuff. And so, what I'll be doing here is I'll be showing you guys how to do that. One of the things you notice is that there is not enough. While you're leveling up, you get your um, for each level you go up in, you get a certain amount of technology points but you can only level up to 50 and once you get to 50 you cannot get any more so how do you get more travel points the first one that you guys might have noticed during your playthroughs and it's a pretty easy one is unlocking fast travel points um, all these fast travel points here once you unlock them it is going to give you um, technology points and so the sites that I use for that you can use for stuff like this, I use it too. Um, if I don't want to, if I'm ta if, if I'm exploring, or if I I'm not certain where certain uh, fast travel points are. Now sites like Powerwall.gg is a very good one. You can filter by just the um, tr fast travel points. You can filter by a bunch of other stuff too. So I'll do one while I'm on video with you guys. I do know that on this in this peninsula here there's at least two fast travel points here so I'm gonna go look for it so let's go through that and do that real quick and you notice that as I get the fast travel points I'm also getting technology points with it too for this we'll be using um, trust the old um, jet dragon because of how quick he is so let's explore this island here No, there's one somewhere up here. This island's too big not to have any, so there should be one somewhere here. Yep, there we go. There's one. And notice before I get it that I have no technology points down here. And when I pick it up, you see I get one technology points. So that's you see one right there. And with that one I can buy an item. Now let's let's get another one. Uh, just so you can see let's repeat it again there should be another one here somewhere let's see what creatures in this cage over here oh, what palace is in here oh okay I already have that I have a bunch of those guys let's see there should be fast travel points oh there we go you see as I got closer the map showed that is one and it is right here And grab it and I can see I got one technology point see if I go in here I now have two so that's the first thing you can do grabbing um fast access points now the second thing you can also do is by exploring the map and grabbing chests um, you can grab what we call, um, what the game calls high-grade technical manuals or in a video technical manual, which is this one here. So this is a high grade one. This only gives one um, tech point, while the innovative gives two tech points. Now, my favorite place to um, for farming this is any high um, high level area on the map itself. And so, let's fast travel to my favorite, which is here. This is a level 40 to 50 area, or level 41 to 40, no, level 40 to 49 region. Oh, it's hot. There we go. Ooh, there's a congregation over there. Okay, so here's one. Grab this. I do not get a technology point there. There's another chest here. Let's see if we can get one. No, I did not get another one there. There's a lot of those guys around. What's going on? Do, 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 do. There's another one here. Nope, I did not get out. I did not get from that. 
is a high density of pounds on the map. There is another one here. There we go, another one here. Oh, I remember why there's a high density of pounds on the map. Uh, when I'm farming, I usually like to increase the density of mobs that spawn. Um, to increase chance, or well, to increase my chance of finding schematics. Let's see, there should be other chests. There we go. Still haven't gotten any extras. But those are the chests I'm referring to. The overall chests. The chest to find in the overall itself. So you farm those, and they have a chance to drop on. Is that one over here? And they have a chance to drop the tech manuals. Another good place to get them is if you go to the sanctuary regions. There we go. And in the sanctuary regions, you can get chests there too. I think there's one here. No, that's an egg. It's just a regular dark egg. If it was huge, I'll grab it. Mm, let's see, there's a chest here. And so if we go over here, any of the three sanctuaries have a chance to, the chest have a chance to drop um, the techno manual. So there's a chest over here. Okay, that didn't give me, give me a defense pendant and sapphire. A gem. Do, 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 do. Let's see if there's any other chests here. Yes, there's a chest here. There we go. Oh, that's handgun semantic. Mm. Oh, what I'm looking for. Still something. Let's get my stamina back. There we go. And we're up and away again. Let's see. Ch -ch 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 I'm hoping to see if I can get one in this video using these chests here. That's why I've gotten a bunch of chests before. Yeah, the density is pretty high. And I'm over farming now. Oh, that's another schematic. No, no, no. Let's see. Nope, that's a um, skill. And a schematic. Come on. And heat resistance. Okay. So I've, I'm not that lucky in this video, which is fine. Now another play, another way in which you guys can get um the technical manuals is by doing dungeons. And so if you do dungeons, let's search for one and do it real quick. Um, at the end of the dungeon, it has a chance to also drop the schematics too. The two chests to get at the end of a dungeon. So let's search for one real quick. See if I can find one. Do, 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 do. If I find one, we're just going to speed run the dungeon itself to get to the very end. There should be one here. There's usually one in the desert here. It's funny how I'm recording now, I can't seem to find one. Oh, there's a note here. Let me grab that real quick. I'm still trying to collect all the notes in the game. The notes are actually pretty cool though. Um, the notes um, share a good deal in regards to the game's lore. And the lore is actually pretty good. The lore is kind of similar to the way Ark's lore is in regards to survivors and stuff or arcs explorer notes and that's where there's a metric there that's not a tunnel yep here's one perfect so let's speed run through this real quick it's just level 38 so it shouldn't be bad i'll use jet dragon to speed through this do 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 i'm looking to catch pounds or mine anything 
just gonna run, 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 run. Colton, so far, they haven't attacked me, which is kind of bizarre on its own. Let's see if we can get to the bus real quick. Just run all the way through. as we can. Now uh, this is just the chest in here. The chest I'm referring to in the dungeon is the um is the one from the boss after beating the boss. Oh boy, getting out here is gonna be a problem. Okay, just have to kill him. The layouts of the dungeons is really, um, I still need to memorize them because I've seen them a bunch of times. They're not always the same. There, it's not. There's not a lot of variance to it, is what I mean by that. So I should have memorized. I know there's a path there. There's a path there. Let's check this one. No, it's it's not this one. Now it's just a circular room, so it's the one behind. So it's this one here. Thing is that when I release videos like this, I like to show it um, while doing, doing the recording itself. Okay, that's the bus room there. So you guys can see that it's I'm not just making up, making stuff up. So we're gonna beat these guys real quick for this. Switch to trust the rockets. Just waste all of them. Yeah, that's that's what a legendary rocket launcher would do. <laughs> Grab all the um, all the drops from them. There we go. And so the reason why you saw three bosses in there is because I have the wall setting increased to. Uh, more creatures, so it spawns three. So when you open the chests, uh, I didn't give me on that one. Please give me on this one. There we go. You see, I just got one innovative technical model, and so I got a second one of this. So the chests at the end of dungeons give that also. So let's exit here. Now the last way to get those manuals is by farming a very specific mob. Um, called Leyland. Let me grab this chest here. Oh, I got a high spirit there. Okay. Now, the only thing with this mob is that um, you can find it in only one location on the map, which is right here, the same sanctuary. We're going to go back there real quick to see if, it, if she spawns. You just have to circle the, um, the third reservation a few times to get her to spawn, or to get a chance for her to spawn. Because there's no guarantee that she'll actually spawn when you're there. So let's go real quick. We'll zoom over there with Jet Dragon. And um, oh, actually, let me show you. Lylin is this um, this PAL over here. She's um, registered as PAL um, 104, I think. One something in the early 100s. Let's see here. That's one o four. There we go. There she is, Lylin. And if you look at her habitat, you notice that she spawns right up there in the top corner over there. Let me switch my mouse right up here. Okay, where we're headed to the sanctuary. 
that's the only place where she spawns but then again like I said even though she spawns there um, it's a chance to spawn because there's a bunch of uh, pals that share the same spawn points so we might be lucky this time in this video and find her and even when you find her when you defeat her or capture her it's also a chance to drop the manuals it's one of the reasons why my preferred method is to just the dungeons to farm the manuals as opposed to trying to farm her and if you're not careful you might also get a wanted level so you can see here she didn't spawn at all she didn't spawn when I came over here and so you just have to keep going around the map to see if she's gonna spawn or not but that's about it though uh, I don't want to make the video any longer than it should be but that those are the different ways in which you can, you can get uh, technical manuals and uh, the ones I got in this video okay let me go ahead and apply them so when I consume the um, high grade it only gives me one I can see if I consume the innovative it'll give me two each time and if I go back to my tech 3 and I have seven points that I can use to spend on anything I want to buy so let's buy some um, cosmetic stuff uh, let's see uh, I need to buy those big containers I haven't purchased those yet it's, it's somewhere down here no, it's in the 30s if I remember correctly yep there we go Let's see. See, so, yeah, that's that's what you use to buy different stuff. That's about it. And so let me just line here real quick. And so that's about it. And so with that, that's the end of this video. And so remember, I can get more tech points by unlocking fast travel points. Uh, you can use sites like Powerwall or GG. You can um, get high grade technical manuals or innovative technical manuals from opening chests in the wall map on the overworld itself. Or my favorite, going into dungeons, um, beating the boss and getting it at the, um, from the, one of the two chests at the end of the dungeon itself. Or if you have pretty good luck, which I don't, you can also farm a specific power which is Lylan by going to the third wildlife sanctuary hoping that she spawns and then when you catch or defeat her hoping that she also drops it so those are the ways in which you can get those and with that um, that's it guys you guys take care Ruby out